2年間打つべき手はまだ打ってきているので我々がこう世界をリードするんだっていう。The recent announcement by Honda CEO Toshihi Romib has left the automotive industry reeling. In a bold move that has shocked the world, Mib has unveiled a new strategy that has enraged many, but has left car enthusiasts on the edge of their seats. While companies like Tesla, Rivian, and BYD are pouring billions of dollars into their all electric strategy, Honda is lagging behind in the race. According to SP Global Mobility data, nearly 30% of current Tesla owners came from Honda and Toyota. Followed by 12% from BMW and Mercedes. However, Honda has yet to offer anything compelling in the electric vehicle market. MIB's announcement has caused quite a stir among EV lovers. Many are left wondering if this could spell the downfall of a once giant brand. What exactly did MIB say that caused such a commotion? In a world where the shift towards EVs is gaining momentum, MIB has a different idea. The 61 year old automobile veteran believes that combustion engines are still the way to go, at least for the next two decades. He argues that these engines could easily last through 2040 and beyond, and feels that there is a rush to electrification that Honda, and he personally, does not want to follow. Mib's statement is a stark contrast to the rest of the industry, which is moving towards electric vehicles at an unprecedented pace. Tesla, Volkswagen and Mercedes have all made commitments to phase out traditional gasoline poured cars, while Ford is investing heavily in its EV lineup after the success of their Fond 50 Lightning. Even Honda's own sales reports show that the top five Model Y competitors are all traditional gas powered vehicles, but despite this, Honda seems to be standing firm in its position. However, MIB's reluctance to embrace the EV revolution is not without consequences. Honda had turbo sales last year, with sales down by nearly 32.9%, whereas Acura, their sister brand, performed even worse with sales down 35%. According to a report by Electric, Honda sells nearly 4.5 million vehicles globally per year, but it has sold only 32,649 electric vehicles ever, starting with the Honda EV Plus in 1997. Currently, a huge part of their electrified sales comes from hybrids like the Accord and the CRV. While other automakers have been introducing their own electric models for years, Honda only has one fully electric vehicle on sale outside of the United States, the Honda Hatchback, which is not popular due to its low range. To make matters worse, MIB has even admitted that the company is a little late to the game when it comes to electrification. The charging infrastructure is not at a place that it needs to be for our customers, said Mib in a recent interview. As we move toward carbon neutrality, we are focused on electrification and fuel cells. Those are the two core components of future mobility. Honda now plans to invest roughly 40 billion US dollars by 2030 into its EV lineup to push sales of fully electric vehicles to 40% by the decade's end. However, This delay in adapting to the shift towards electric vehicles could put Honda at a disadvantage in the long run as the world moves towards a more sustainable future. The fact that Honda is standing against EVs has left many questioning the motives behind this decision. Could it be a personal decision by MIB that is not in the best interest of the business? He went on to say that Honda's performance cars and trucks would likely push on with combustion. Which means that the future Type R iterations will likely soldier on with combustion power, albeit likely with hybrid assistance to meet stricter emissions targets. Mib's previous role as the R&D boss for Honda and his attempts to team up with other manufacturers for an alliance against TV makers have also raised suspicion. Using his experience to keep partnerships between automakers going, Mib is now setting up a huge alliance with General Motors. Aside from this, Honda has also strengthened ties with Subaru, Mazda, Volkswagen, and Ford. These brands are also in a similar situation, with most of their sales coming from traditional gas powered vehicles. But is Honda missing out on something big? Could there be a sinister truth about EVs that we know nothing about? While EVs are hailed as the future, some argue that they are not as good as they seem. 
We are making this shift towards EVs due to two reasons depleting fossil fuels, and the environmental crisis. Mercedes says it will go all-electric by 2030, while Volkswagen says it will go all-electric by 2026. This means that no new gas-powered models will be launched, and the current models will eventually be phased out. However, the process of making an electric car is not all sunshine and rainbows. To make a 450 kg battery, you have to dig up 200 KILOGRMS of raw materials, including lithium, cobalt, and nickel. The extraction of these materials can have a negative impact on the environment, not to mention the emissions associated with producing an electric car. But despite these challenges, the benefits of electric vehicles far outweigh the drawbacks. Electric vehicles offer a more efficient, cost-effective, and smoother driving experience. They are also significantly better for the environment when compared to traditional gasoline-poured cars. The shift towards renewable energy sources like wind and solar means that the emissions associated with producing electric cars will continue to decrease. Responsible sourcing practices and recycling programs can also mitigate the environmental impact of extracting raw materials. Honda's reluctance to embrace the EV revolution is a risky move that could result in the downfall of the once giant brand. The rest of the industry is moving towards electric vehicles at an unprecedented pace, and Honda's failure to adapt could put them at a disadvantage in the long run. MIB's personal decision to push for combustion engines is questionable, and it remains to be seen if Honda's alliance with other automakers will yield any results. In conclusion, while there are challenges associated with the production of electric cars, the benefits of electric vehicles far outweigh the drawbacks. The shift towards sustainable transportation is gaining momentum, and automakers who fail to adapt to this shift may find themselves at a disadvantage in the long run. Honda's reluctance to embrace the EV revolution is a risky move that could spell the downfall of the once-giant brand.